Yo, what up? I'm, I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie. It's a Banjo-Kazooie kind of night. Okay. Where was I last time I was here? I think I've done everything in Mambo's Mountain. Um, I think last time I was at Breezy Peak. I forgot to remove the starting soon thing. All right. Uh. I think we go up this way. Uh, was there anything in this, like, pipe? I don't think this was opened yet. There's a golden feather there. Wow, I'm surprised that I made it up there. Oh god, it's so laggy over here. Oops. That's not what I wanted. This looks hittable. I knew it. Where am I going with these? Oh shit, enemy. Makes a jumping platform appear. Woo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was sick. like you have to knock this down or something oh i have an idea i think that was the wrong idea hmm. i feel like i haven't been here before oh god What? 
Oh no. Running low on battery. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing there's a switch I have to hit to open that. Oh wait. Let's see what Brent Tilda has to say. <laughs> I do that every time. It looks like I'm streaming on Twitch TV. Oh my god, you're right. Campbell spit milkshake. Oh, thanks, Brent Tilda. Bap. Oh god, I am running out of time. Oh no. Oh, it's a note door. Can I open it though? No. I need more. You said it, Gruntilda. Here, I think I can get some notes. I think I can get some from Breeze Easy Peak, because I don't think I got a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna collect some notes from Freeze Easy Peak. That should hopefully be good enough. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't think we would be back here. God, the snowmen are back to kill me. I think there's some notes up here. Yeah. How long is this going? Okay. It felt like that was going forever. I love the sound of collecting eggs. Does anyone else imitate the the sound that the snowballs make? The whoosh. Because I feel like I do it every single time. <laughs> you absolutely do. Thank you. I'm I'm glad I'm not alone in this. some notes in here. Yo, what up? 
Yo, what up? I'm getting an extra life. That's kind of what that sound sounds like. It sounds like you're going, I'm getting an extra life. Uh -huh. Don't do the Mr. Vile minigame. You got it. Uh, reward completed. Easy. Yes, I beat my last note score. Ugh. <laughs> Whoa, hype. I'm pressing B. I like how the the text of um or the sound of people saying things in this game speeds up as you hold B. I think that's really cool. Sky, do you think there's TF2 speedruns on speedrun.com? I feel like there would be. Looking now, thank you. We have to figure out this mystery. Thank you, Mumbo. There are speedruns for the training portion. That was kind of what I what I was expecting. I wonder if they'll ever add like jump maps, like official jump maps to the the categories page. I don't know, the, the mumbo magic should run out soon. Mumbo magic get weak. <laughs> Why does it turn red like I'm about to die or something? Okay, I think this should be enough. To get in. Yes, nice. Oh shit, I'm in hell. Oh my god, this is hell. What the? say Gobi's Valley Gobi these nuts any percent for TF2 is just console shit 
no, 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 no. <laughs> What's in here? Surprise, it's Gruntilda. I'll go. <laughs> I don't think I'm welcome there. Actually, there might be some cool stuff there. I need to... <laughs> Bad joke. This is kind of scary. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. This, this is kind of scary. I thought that was Ecom Bokum. I'm going in this house. Can I speak in quotes? Um. I don't know how that would work. But yes. so easy for me to do it. Look, I'm doing it right now. GG. That's so true. This looks like that one that one world from Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. This looks like that one world from Kingdom Hearts. I definitely have to be a small a small person to get in here. This is terrifying planet. This is the scary planet, Banjo. Welcome. Oh shit. Extra life time. What do you think an extra life tastes like? Like, you know how in, in Mario, extra lives are like one-up mushrooms? And I think you eat them? What would that taste like? Or what would the, what would the Banjo statue taste like? Tastes like solid metal and hurts your teeth to chew. Well, that's... That's, uh, incorrect. I actually eat it every day. <laughs> Milk fucking chocolate. Then that sounds tasty. Eat up. Okay, I don't think I can get up here as much as I want to try. Could you imagine living here? With your house at a constant 30 degree angle? That would fucking suck. Constantly living in a place that is tilted all the time. That would actually be the worst. How do we get in here? Knock knock. Give me candy. Candy's nuts. Fit in your mouth. John played TF2 with his camera tilted that same angle last night. Is when I specced him. <laughs> nice. You mean just like the camera was constantly like pointing down? Dude, what happens if I... What? what happened? Oh shit, I'm about to find out. Oh my god. Banjo dies. <laughs> Oh my god. Actual death in Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, uh. God. Okay, I need to not do that. That makes it so hard to control. I can't believe I have died for real in that game. Oh, I need, I need to be tiny here. 
Give it up. Why would you ever put socks hanging from the ceiling? A Veruca plant? That sounds pretty tidy. That sounds kind of gross. But I wouldn't really know. I've never done that, I don't think. I think sometimes I take for granted how slow Banjo moves. Because it definitely helps when you're trying to not fall. Alright, let's go to... Uh, that one place that I just opened and I forgot what its name was. I also wasn't looking to see where it opened. I think it's over here. Alright, it is. Oh, I need my my Kazooie shoes. <laughs> I need my Kashooies. Yeah, Kazooies. Kash Kash Kashuis. Banjo Banjo Kashui. Banjo Cashews. Who is this character? Who is this? I want to know more about this this person. Hello, can I buy business? Rain? Kazooie, you cannot just ask someone how someone's nuts are. <laughs> Kazooie, what the fuck? <laughs> Kazooie really said, how's your nuts? I don't think that should be allowed in a Nintendo game. <laughs> Can you believe that these two characters are in Super... Hello, yes, hi. You are on the Bronto Burt air. What would you like to say to every fan? Bronto, uh, how's your nuts? Fuck. I can't disclose that information. No. Oh, God. I am burning. The shoes? Banjo Kashui? Who is that caller? She sounded so funny and attractive. I don't know. I don't know who that could have been. But yeah, let's not let's not distract ourselves from the topic that Kazooie literally told someone, how's your nuts? Oh, I could just run up here? I didn't think that would work. Banjo door. Hello, it is my house. my chat settings I think something weird happened and the pronouns extension isn't showing up give me a sec showing up. What's up here? Was this 
Whoa. I don't like that. Why is it blinking at me? Ikabokum. Hello. Can I help you? I had a dream I was getting chased. And by the way, I was running upstairs so quickly. I think you were there with me. Holy shit, we were going on an adventure. Yeah, I'm gonna fly a bit. What? <laughs> Wants me off his nose right now. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. You got it. Is this... Is this world, like, implying that Banjo is a part of a ancient race? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. What's up there? that is. I can't believe that these two characters are in Super Smash Brothers. It still kind of blows my mind too. Only joking! I can't believe I got tricked. Oh, whoa. what was that? You can't just put jump scares in this game. I saw a goddamn demon coming out of the floor. I need to investigate this or something. What? Ah! No, 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 no. This is not okay. That's not cool. That was a wall master from The Legend of Zelda. I don't think that's okay. I don't think that should be allowed in this game. Do not grab me. I should probably grab these notes. If I could choose one talent to have, it would be to to mimic the the sound of the eggs as you pick them up. I feel like that's a sound that no human should ever try to imitate. You can only be blessed with a divine gift to create that noise with your vocal cords and any other means necessary. I'm slamming down. I'm slamming down. Ugh. Uh, where am I going? No, you can't just play the cutscene during the timer. Ikabokum. Uh, what am I doing here? I want to perfectly mimic the sound it makes when you pick up a music note with any part of my body. Which, uh, yeah, I, guess, I guess you said any part. Banjo. Oh, it's a memory game. 
Shit. Damn it. Get away. Banjo and Kazooie are on the floor in this room. Wait, really? Wait, I think I saw that one before. Uh-oh. Fuck. I've seen that one. It was this one. Blah. Yes. That one. This one. This is so much scarier than if there was if this was just like a normal matching game. I completely guessed on that one. I think more matching games should be like this. I feel like there should be a constant threat of potentially dying to a mummy whenever you play a matching game. Matching with a mummy. This was the that was the game gaming of the year. Oh no. I'm gonna run out of time. Grabbed by the ghoulies. That sounds awesome. Oh no. Which one was the other music note? It was that one! No! Am I dead? What? Alright, I guess I'll... What is grabbed by the ghoulies about? Is it where you get grabbed by ghoulies? Also, this music is so sick. I love this. I always am a big fan of like desert themes Benjo arbitrarily decided that he lost yeah he was like well I can't do it it's too long it's been a hundred seconds you got in my way I will always think that picture of a Jinjo always is the funniest thing on, on planet Earth. Grabbed by the ghoulies is about a, a boy whose girlfriend gets grabbed by ghoulies and taken into their haunted mansion. And he's got to get her out. That sounds like an awesome game. Is it for like the... It sounds like an SNES game. No, what am I doing? N64? Alright, I think I'll... I'll look into it. Ah! I won. He looks so sad. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> I should have known. That was a mummy trick. Oh, I don't think I even lost any progress from losing the minigame. That's kind of cool. All right, I'll help you. Nice. Magic carpet. I can't wait to ride it. Camel. Nice. Dude. Holy shit. Is that... Is that... Camel? Fuck, where is it? Is that Camel? Gotta catch my... Are you kidding me? 
What? I've been tricked. <laughs> as soon as I played it, the stream buffered. Twitch was on to me. <laughs> Yeah, what up? It's too hot for Gobi. This is Gobi? Uh. I don't know how to help. How do I help Gobi? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you haven't been able to... You haven't been able to sub. You're, you're getting ads for the first time ever. I don't know how to save Gobi. I need I need to become an umbrella, I guess. No. Fun. What? Oh shit. Entrance. Please let me go. I need to get into the entrance. Ikkombokum. I don't think I'm going to have time now. <laughs> I gotta go. Fuck. Are you sure I can't beat this? Gruntilda. She might be right, actually. This seems... This seems fairly strict. It wouldn't be as strict if I could move while the... Please let me move. Thank you. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to... get to it with... my current abilities. Can you not just jump up the walls? Uh... No, I can't. That's... It is too high. Okay, we have solved that mystery. I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't have thought to do that. But I guess it just doesn't work. Uh, um... Where the fuck is Bottles? No. Okay, I don't think he's up there. Dude, what if I need to get pulled under the ground? Okay, I only got slammed, I guess. Uh, I need bottles. Where is he? Okay, I gotta heal up. Don't mind. Oh, God. They mind. They mind so much. Oh, I'm sorry. Go. You joined my personal hell of my favorite streamers who have said, oh, hall of my favorite streamers who have said, where the fuck is bottles? It is slightly strange for a comedic effect voice while playing Banjo-Kazooie 1. Thank you. I'm, I'm very honored. When do I, when do I give my acceptance speech for the, the reward? I hope it's not right exactly right now because I didn't prepare. <laughs> right now, the fuck. Uh, thank you to the. Um, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, boss battle. Grab a. <laughs> Give me that jiggy. I have finished giving my acceptance speech. That was my acceptance speech move. That is what Grabba said. Where was that flying platform? Oh, it was on the statue. What? Flying carpet. Oh god, I am dying.
Where does this carpet take me? I'm going to be honest, I honestly thought it was... I really do honestly think sometimes. Uh, I thought it was just... I thought I was just going to dump me in the sand. It was just like, gotcha. And then I die. This is me playing banjo in Super Smash Brothers. I want to dump you in the sand. It sounds like a middle school bully. <laughs> I go. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I gotta go down there. Nice. Consider yourself dumped. Damn. Who is this? I kind of I kind of felt that too, Sky. I'm not gonna lie. Where's the treasure? Yeah. I don't I don't think this is a very I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Wait. Oh, there it is. How do I get up there? Uh How do I do this? Please tell me information. You're not going to Okay. Do I need to become the snake? I feel like if there was a snake in there, it would like boost me up. Or is that the snake? It's a very interesting looking snake. Uh, I need to become a snake, I think. I think I need to go snake mode. his bottles. I need his help. They are staring at me angrily. Fuck. <laughs> you ever see a, a, a bee in public jump face first into it and die? Because that's just what happened to me. Please do not slam me again. Don't put me in the slammer. Last week, actually. <laughs> yeah, speaking of last week, this reminded me. I I found out apparently you can you can trade items in this for from TF2 on this website called like um, scrap.tf. And you can, you can buy and sell your own items. And I, I think you can like trade your own items for other items. It's kind of cool. Last week I was trying to, I was like looking into it. And apparently I have an item that's, I think it's one key and 16.66 .66 refined. 
And I was like, wow, okay, I get, I should sell that and get a key for it. That'd be cool. And I was like just about to do it. And then it was saying, oh, you haven't had Steam Mobile Guard set up for seven days. <laughs> and I didn't know about that. I, I thought you could just do it, but apparently you need it set up for seven days before you can actually trade. Which I guess is fine because, you know, it keeps like trade bots from scamming people, I guess. So I have to wait until like this Wednesday now to to actually trade away the item because I'm not going to do anything else with it. But yeah, it, it is pretty popular, and apparently you can also sell your Steam cards for refined metal, which is just insane to me. That's such a wild concept. The fact that you can sell Steam cards for, for metal in Team Fortress 2. And I think also they also accept games for trading. So, I guess if you just had a game in your inventory, you could sell it for for TF2 items. TF2 is kind of wild. It does sound suspicious, but considering Scrap.TF is probably the biggest, you know, trading website. It is like, it is for sure legitimate, I think, because it's probably based off of people putting things into like the trading economy or whatever ow but you're right it does sound suspicious it's like <laughs> trade your steam cards for <laughs> for tf2 metal eco bokum by the way i have to say it yeah this wednesday i'm gonna try and actually do some trading because i've been wanting to get like more items into my backpack but I just haven't had a lot of items because it's been so long since I played so and I think I think the fact that you could sell cards is even crazier by the fact that you just get so many so many cards over time and like sometimes things will be overstocked but a lot of the times th things don't seem to be overstocked so it seems pretty good to get some tf2 metal where, where am i going i feel like i have to go in there but i don't know how i would do that do i have to go in that hole that might be what i have to do I'm gonna go in the nose. But yeah, you have to have like Steam Mobile Guard set up, which I think is a good idea. Like everyone should do it. Because, you know, security and privacy is, well, I guess less so privacy, but more so security is important. How's your nuts bark breath? That's so fucked up, Kazooie. Damn it. How do I give you water?
have an idea? Also, Sky, can you believe that a burning team captain is still considered the most expensive TF2 item? I think that's crazy. That after all of these years of TF2 trading and unusuals even being a thing, the burning team captain is still the rarest one, or at least the most expensive one. Your nose is all blocked up. <laughs> that tickles. Bless you. <laughs> Come on in. I wish whenever I shot eggs into someone's nose. I'm not going to finish that sentence. I think I realized that finishing that sentence would have been a bad idea. <laughs> I love this game. It's just the the sim the silliest things make me chuckle and and giggle. Yeah, apparently, apparently earbuds, which used to be a super rare item, ow, are only like ikumbokum. They're not ikumbokum. They're only like fifteen dollars now. I remember them being way more expensive, or maybe fifteen dollars just sounded like a lot when I was younger. <laughs> maybe back then I was like fifteen dollars. That's so much money, because I never had money before. <laughs> Like, I never had money that was my own money before. Does this bottom thing open? What? No! Yeah. I was like looking up uh, expensive TF2 items earlier because I was curious. Apparently there's something called non or uncraftable earbuds those are worth like thousands of dollars apparently and i didn't even know those were real Dude, you cannot just hit me like that that's what i thought real banjo kashui hours who's up yeah you could yeah, there was the, the Mac port. For a limited time, there was... Um, there were the earbuds that you could get. And they were if... I think it was if you launched the game while playing on a Mac, you would get the earbuds. Um, I think... I think back then, my family had a Mac... But it was after the promotion, I think, had already ran out. So I never got them. <laughs> but also, I think... Was that? Oh, yeah. That was when I had my, like, my old Steam account. 
I'm pretty sure. What the hell? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that looked like a fucking <laughs> Gmod animation. <laughs> but yeah, I had, um, before the account I have right now on Steam, I actually had an account before that. And that was when, um, that was when I had first played. I think that account before the one I have now is the one that I like originally played TF2 on because I'm pretty sure yeah I got a box copy of TF2 in like 2009 I think so I had the game before the Mac port came out so I could have gotten it but now I don't remember, like, my login. I don't even know if the account still exists. Which really sucks, because I want to be able to see if my, my like, inventory is, like, around. And I don't know how I would be able to get that account back. Because I would love to see it. I would love to be able to log onto it and see what items I had. If I could even do that. could do I could oh shit I think my family still has my old laptop and I think that laptop still has stuff on it I think I might be able to see if my old account is still on there I might have to look into that tomorrow King Sandy butt what the hell Oh god. Luckily, I am a master of mazes. It's that way. I need to go that way. Gruntilda, you tricked me! I need to see if I can find a way to get access into my old Steam account. If it still exists. Because if it is still around, I think all of the items I have on there, which might be quite a few honestly, would all be vintage. Because those items would be would have been around since I think before the free-to-play update, which made all of the items that were around before that Oh shit, there was a Jinjo in there. That made all the items that were around before that into vintage items. So that would be cool. Ikum bokum. That was my Bronto tangent about TF2. Banjo and Kazooie are standing sideways. I've actually been sitting for a while. I'm gonna take a little a little break and play some ad, so I'll be back in a bit.
the return. Okay. Trade me some, I will give you all of my ref. I think I have one ref. Deal. I will give you every single one of my vintage items. Actually, would those items even be tradable? Your unusual po pumpkin is worth 35 keys. That's like $70. <laughs> God damn. You might be able to just sell that for like actual money. Well, I don't know. You might not be able to actually. <laughs> that might not be a thing you can do. Turns out, if I find a way into my old account, I had like, uh, I had like a golden wrench or something. Because I think I was playing around the time that, that happened. I might not have gotten one, actually. I definitely would have remembered if I gotten one. On one hand, I want $80. On the other hand, I love my unusual. I don't, I don't know if it's actually possible to sell like unusuals for real money on scrap.tf that might not be a thing or it might be i don't know actually i guess you would be able to sell it for like store credit maybe if you make a ton of money off of your old tf2 backpack can i have half of it for no reason <laughs> if i can find a way in i might give you some stuff like if i have duplicate stuff i'll probably give you it jk obviously it would be interesting to see what kind of stuff I had. Because that would all, it would all be things from before 2011, because that was when I made my new account. Or I guess not new, but current account. And I think, oh yeah, earlier, I actually looked up the there's like some steam profile thing you can do i looked it up it is still around it hasn't been vac banned or anything which i thought happened but i guess i i guess it didn't happen or something like that i'm totally new to training what do you even use refine for it's pretty much just a form of currency for tf2 trading like certain items are worth their worth is based on how much refined you can get from them. Otherwise, you would use refined for... You would use refined to make random hats. So, I think it's three refined can make a single hat. And... I think a hat's... Or a cosmetic's worth is... Well, I guess with three refined, you don't make a random hat. You make a random cosmetic. And... I think the worth of that is based on how many there are currently in the market. So just as an example, this isn't like true. Say, I don't know, some hat was, there was 50 in, of them in the market and that would give them a worth of like two refined or something. I don't know. But if there were only 25 of them in the market, then that would give them a worth of like four refined. So the scarcer or the rare uh, cosmetic is, the more refined it's worth. And usually refined is just used as a general like currency. I think it, it goes from like scrap to reclaimed to refined and then to keys. And I think for a while, people used earbuds as a form of currency. For some reason, I don't know why. It makes no sense. Keys 
kind of makes more sense because that is an actual monetary worth attached to it because keys are like two dollars and fifty cents a key so if something was like four keys then that would be ten dollars but yeah refined is just kind of a a general term used for uh determining worth in some some item if it's like a strange weapon or a cosmetic or it's just any kind of item really yeah i've been in i have been in like the the tf2 trading i've known about tf2 trading terms for a while now so i feel like i know quite a bit of it i don't know everything about it but i knew i know quite a bit about it I don't know where to go. <laughs> I've just been running around because I have no clue what I'm doing. Maybe I should just go to a different area. I don't know how I would do that. But yeah, like earlier I found I found my old account, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's my old account because it said it was like 12 years old. Wait, hold on, let me look at it again. Cause if it was from before like 20 if it was from 2009, then it's definitely my old account. Profile created August 7th, 2010. Oh no, wait, that might not be mine. Oh wait, I don't know. I could have sworn I got the game in 2009. I would have had a Steam account by then. Did I get it in 2010? I... My memory is so... Foggy, I don't know. Sorry if Sky kind of quiet, I'm trying to trade, no problem. Twenty thousand and one, true. Profile state public. What? Sorry I'm like derailing the stream. I'm too I'm too like focused on trying to figure this out. Oh wait, I might have used my parents' email to sign up. Uh that would be that would be too much work to to do. Just put on some dramatic music. Well, this we've got the the banjo kazooie pause music, so I think this is this is good enough. Uh, I'm trying to. I wish I could figure out a way to get into my old account. I might have to just find my old laptop if it's around.
Okay, I just had a good idea. I think it might be it might be on my parents Mac because I played TF2 on that and I'm pretty sure I played it on that old account at least once which would have meant I had to install the game on it using that account before I got the new one so I think now I can't get it right now that would take way too much effort I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow um I will return with my findings tomorrow to, if I if I find anything. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I have no idea what I'm wanting to do. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I wonder if Steam can get an account back. This is the Bronto discover she has like a thousand dollars worth of TF2 stuff and is now rich and a philanthropist. I wonder how much vintage items would sell for. Like a, a TF2 account from 2009. How much would that sell for? Steam can do anything, yeah. I'm pretty sure they would have at least something in some database because you know people probably ask about their own old accounts all the time why can't i wear these damn shoes and where the hell is bottles i i still can't find them but yeah, if i can get like an email screenshot that says i had the account that i'm thinking of which I probably use one of my parents' emails to sign up with. Then maybe I can convince Steam to give me my old account and like put it under a new email address that I use. Mostly just because I want to see what I have on that old account. But that will be my adventure for tomorrow. I wonder, if I do actually end up getting access to the account, should I, like, do anything with it? Should I, like, play on a server or something? Or should I just put all the items onto my new account? What should I do if I do end up actually getting access? Whoa! if I would get like thousands of of like alerts from the account not being active for like god it's been over 10 years yeah I should definitely transfer it to my current account if I can because I think I wouldn't have to I don't think I would have to buy a new license because I would have the because I got the box copy of the game I would I would just um I would just need to download it because the game would already be like registered into my account Ikum Were there any were there any bonuses that players got if they were a player before a certain point? Proof of purchase. Well, I think I got that before, but that's on my current account. Or 
wait. Hold on. Cheater's Lament. Awarded on September 2nd, 2009. Fuck. I don't think I would have gotten that. No. I think I got the game after that point. Damn. That's unfortunate. Okay. I guess for uh, Cheater's Lament, that was... Um, the Cheater's Lament was a hat that people got if you never used an external idling program. Um, it, it, it was a whole thing where the item drop system was being exploited by people to get items really quickly. So people who got the che Cheater's Lament were people that didn't use external idling programs and played at least once during the since the introduction of the item drop system. So the second distribution also included players who were excluded the first time for using external idling programs. So yeah, it's like a hold on, I'll post the link. It's like a little halo hat. Like a angel halo. And I think it's pretty rare. Well, yeah, it definitely is pretty rare because it was released in 2009 and you can't get it anymore. But I guess you can't trade it, so it doesn't really... <laughs> it doesn't really help. But yeah, the Cheaters Lament was like a really... Uh, a really rare item to have. Congratulations, your honesty has been rewarded with a new hat. Nice. Oh yeah, I think... Oh, I think this was when the item drop system gave you cosmetic items. Oh, I forgot about that. This was before the, the item store came out. Which was in 2010. Oh my god, I forgot about that fact. I completely forgot that that was a thing. Okay, I should go back to playing the game. Uh, I don't know where to go. Alright, I'm tired of looking. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna look up where Bottles is. Bottles is on Google. What? He, he's just on some hill? What do you mean? I'm going to find Bottles, no matter what. He's on Bottles Hill. Uh, I didn't think about that.
He's like, hello, welcome to Bottles Hill. Oh, what? I don't go that way? Keep alongside the left side of the hill until you see a lone palm tree at the top. Oh, of course. Yes. This is where he is. Right here. Damn, no money. The running shoes. This is Bottle Hill. Well played, Banjo. Oh, I've learned all the moves. Nice. I can't wait to see how fast I can run. Fucking bastard. Bastard. My kashuis. Oh shit! Yeah. I I ran into it before it was even there. How does that happen? I got a fucking run. Kidding me? Because we actually just did that on her own. <laughs> Dude, she didn't know there was an enemy spawning there. Yeah. Alright, I will try again. Here I go. Is gonna go out. Oh wait, that's gonna yo it up. Yo it up. That's gonna help the um that one the nuts guy. <laughs> the guy where Kazooie was like nice nuts or something like that. That's gonna help the ecosystem, yes! And the nuts guy, yeah. Can you not, can you, can you not just ask someone how their nuts are? How do I make it rain? 
Oh wait, do I run around and make a tornado? No. I'm gonna run around and make a tornado. I just noticed that Banjo's closing his eyes. But if I told you that was the actual solution, I would lose my mind. Shit! I didn't mean to do that. Maybe there's a maybe there's a bucket in here. I love how this area specifically is the laggiest area in the entire game. Stop talking about his nuts. Will eggs and feathers help? No need water help. <laughs> That'd be crazy though, yeah. How do I get him in the water? Or how do I get rain? Pillars look like they are ground poundable. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. this oh shit Gobi's off to cool down goodbye Gobi I wish you good luck stop no stop playing Maybe now I need to go back to the the tree. I forgot his name. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, what up? Well, buddy, have you learned to share? Oh my god. Gobi, I didn't mean to. Gobi, no! Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Eh. 
How do I get up? Oh, I know. Nice. Okay, so I need two more jiggies plus the the Jinjo jiggy. Pyramid with the not very not good representation of someone in Egypt. Hey, I need to hit that target. had an idea for what I was supposed to do in there. I don't, I don't want to talk to this person. No. Okay. Oh. I think that works. Uh. <laughs> oh. I think that worked. Nice little little slide. Hello? You'll help me with my quest. Oh shit. Long. <laughs> That's kinda cool. That was the Gobi song. That was cool. Shit. Okay. Uh, where else do I need to go? I need to get Jinjos. And there was some like... There was like a hand that was holding a Jiggy or something. Oh god. I need to find that again. Right, was it over there? No, that's where Gobi was. 
Oh god, I cannot be running through this with the shoes on. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, I need this health. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Oh, no, <laughs> don't kill me. Okay. Why was I saying that? I had, I have health. Whoa. Where was that, that hand that was holding a, a jiggy or something? I'm pretty sure I wasn't like imagining that. I'm pretty sure I remember that being real. Oh my god, camera. Was it over here? Oh, it was. I'm pretty sure I need the, the quick boots. Here I go. Give me this. Give me it. No. Give me that. <laughs> nice. Oh no, it made him cry. Alright. I need the Jinjos now. Oh, no. Huah. Where could those Jinjos be? Could there be one in here, maybe? Oh, no. Huah. one over there there's probably one in one of these pyramids or something I heard him where was it where's the ginger there you are Come here. No. Eh. Nice. Okay. Uh. Was there one in here? I feel like there could be one in here. I gotta look. It's King Sandy Butt's Wrath once again. Oh, I got an extra life. Nice. I feel like I definitely would have heard a Jinjo if there was one in here. Oh, I heard one. There you are. Nice. Ikum Bokum. I love, I love Ikum Bokum. It's so cool. So I need two more now. Uh, maybe there's one in that statue? Oh. Oh god. Oh, just kidding. I am safe.
Yo, what up? <laughs> I think I hit the left nostril on accident. That was kind of cool. That's what they call a nostril skip. I feel like I kind of remember there being a Jinjo in here. <laughs> there is a Jinjo. Where is it? Oh! Okay, I need to go back down. Could this last one be? Uh, is there a pyramid I didn't check? What kind of pyramids were there? There was like uh, I don't think I went to that one. The one with the switch, I think. <laughs> I have been killed. Okay. I'll just get all the Jinjos again, I guess. The Jinjos. Okay, I'm glad I can not wear the. I can choose to not wear the shoes anymore. jump up. were there. Yeah, there's the one in the maze. But I don't... I don't remember where that one was. Oh shit, Jin Joe. My name is Joe. Jin Joe. Do not slam me. Where did I... Where is that maze again? I completely forgot. 
Oh, wait, was it over there? Oh, it definitely was. This way. Oh no. The other way. Nice. When I did. Oh yeah, the blue one. It's under the under the water. Jinjo. Nice. I did it. Okay. Uh, it's been a couple hours, so I think. I think I'm gonna head out now. That was a nice couple hours in Gobi Valley. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna head out now. Alright. Good night, Gobi Valley. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to head out now, so. Do I want to raid anyone? Uh, we can raid Linnaeus. Linnaeus is cool. I haven't really... I haven't really watched Linnaeus too much, but I've seen, I've like watched Linnaeus and Marcus do their Twilight Princess streams, so it's pretty cool. Street Fortress 2. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you there, Sky. I'm just gonna start up a raid really quick. Not Pinius. That's not true. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raid, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.